Hello everyone welcome back to Design Gold channel. Today we are going to talk about prawns in linear function. Are you ready let's get started. First, select the stone in this row. Click on the prawns in linear tool. We see that each prong has a number of axes. Prongs can be resized individually or symmetrically. They can be rotated. This is the main prong with more parameters to adjust. You can set the depth. Hold shift and move the red lever to adjust the size of all prongs. Taper adjusts the width of the bottom of the prongs. Fillet adjusts the rounded top of the prongs. Then we can hold Shift plus Control to push the distance of the prongs. Hold Shift to control the movement of all prongs. Next step. After executing prongs in linear, click Section Library to enter the Section Library. Select a heart-shaped section. Also you can adjust its size and height. It's very easy to change. Next we will use a customized section. First draw a section with the Curve Revolve Mirror tool. Then select the stone and execute the prongs in linear tool. Then select section from the command bar options. Click on the curve line. Then make a few adjustments. Switch to the top view. Click on section library. Click on the icon preview and enter a name to save. Right-click to confirm. This way we can quickly apply it to other styles. The whole process is very simple. How to use custom prongs. Selecting stones, use the prongs in linear tool. Select custom prong from the command bar options, then pick up the object. The custom prongs can be replaced. Then adjust its position and size. We can use the history to rotate the prongs on the plane. The pegs on the gems will also rotate. And you can do the editing again. In the case of large and small stones it creates prongs proportionally. The whole process is very simple. Saving and importing prongs in linear styles. After we execute the command, we select the customized prongs. Then adjust the size and position. Then click on Section Library. Enter a name and click Save. In this way, we can save the prongs we set in the style library. It's very convenient. Now you can quickly load the saved style and edit it again. When between gems is on, prongs start between two gems. If between gems is turned off, prongs start in the center of the stones. It's good for making prongs diagonal to the stones. Let's open another file to demonstrate the options of two sides control in the prongs in linear tool. Select the circle of stones and execute the prongs in linear function. Toggle two sides control equals yes in the command bar. Now you can move each prong. Holding down the shift key to move allows you to control the prongs on one side of the circle. 
you can also adjust the size and angle of each prong. It's very easy to do. To execute the prongs in linear function. Half equals yes in the command bar. Adjust the desired parameters. Then save the style and right-click on it. Select the gems and perform the prongs in linear function again. Click on style library to load the style you just saved. This way you can use its style and editing features to solve more problems. Finally, about the gem distance tolerance option. Now gem distance tolerance equals 0.4. Using the prongs in linear tool is normal. But if we have a stone spacing of 0.8 for the number of pegs is anomalous. We change gem distance tolerance equals 0.9. The position and number of prongs return to normal. So we need to set the distance tolerance of prongs according to the stone spacing to make prongs in linear work. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like our features remember to subscribe us. We will update more powerful functions in the future.